Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how constructors are used. Constructors are very important in Java because they must be called when instantiating a new object. And uh, I'll go ahead and make a class and show a simple example of when a constructor is called. I'll go ahead and make this class here. And I'm going to call it employees. Oh, employee. And and make the constructor. Okay, the constructor here is this piece of code. That is a constructor. I'll go ahead and put a comment above that. Now, constructors, as you can see, they look a lot like a method, but the main difference to remember is that constructors do not have a return type, ever. Also, a constructor must have the same name as the class that it's in. So as you can see here, employee is the name of the constructor. Employee is also the name of the class. And, and there's no return type here. Um, as you can see, even the main method here has the void return type. So those are the two key things you need to look out for when identifying a constructor. Now, a constructor is called when putting in the code new with the name of the class and matching parentheses, you know, including any arguments. And this also happens to be how objects are created. And as you can see here, I create two objects. One is being assigned to this C reference variable, and the other is not being assigned to anything. I'm, I'm just creating it. Uh, these pieces of code will cause the constructor to run twice. So let me go ahead and run this for you here. So when new employee, when I, when this uh, new employee code executed here, it ran this constructor and um, printed out this statement here. And it did the same thing when I created the next uh, employee object. So another thing is you can also pass parameters with constructor. And uh, this is one of the most common ways constructors are used. So let's go ahead and wipe this out here. Method here.
Better give that a type up there. <laughs> Didn't put the string type up there. All right. Now here I changed up employee to take on two parameters in its constructor rather than just one. These parameters, as you can see here, new name, new country, these strings, they set the name and the country variables on the employee object, which is created when this line of code executes. Afterwards, this new object inside the reference variable C will uh, call the print information method, which prints out the name and country in the console. So. I'll go ahead and run that for you real quick. My name is Fred and I'm from Mongolia. So when I ran it, it created this new employee and it passed the Fred string into new name and the string Mongolia into new country and it set the name and country uh, variables on that on the uh, on this new object and assigned it to C. So when print information is called on the C reference variable, it pulled out the name in the country and printed it out. Um, another thing, uh, you can also have multiple constructors in a Java class. Now, in this program, I put two constructors which will allow employee objects to be created differently. You know, we have the one that you saw earlier uh, where I pass these two strings and um, it automatically knows to use this constructor here. Now, the constructor without any parameters just sets the name the name variable to the default name and the country variable to the default country. And of course, we have the constructor, we have uh, this other one here, and um, when I run when I run this program, it's going to print out my name is Fred and I'm from Mongolia. But when it hits this piece of code here, it's going to know to Call the the uh, the constructor without any parameters passed. So it's going to set the name to the default name and the country to the default country. So let me go ahead and run this real quick, and I'll show you. So as you can see here, my name is Fred, and I'm from Mongolia. My name is the default name, and I'm from the default country. So. That's uh, showing you that you can use as many constructors as you need in your uh, Java program. Now, one other thing I wanted to point out is that if you don't have a constructor put in code, then Java will automatic, automatically make one for you. I'll go ahead and demonstrate that for you here. get rid of these constructors. Actually, I'll go ahead and get rid of the state as well. So, as you can see here, no compile errors. Um, 
because Java is autom automatically knows to put a constructor in there without any um, parameters at all. So basically, if I run if I run this code, Java is going to put in the equivalent of this constructor, and that's it. However, one thing I want to point out. If you do add a constructor in your code, any constructor at all, then Java is not going to automatically put the parameter list constructor in there for you. So let's say I put in a constructor with that, with, with one parameter. See now, calling this uh, parameter list constructor won't work anymore because I put another constructor in here. So just wanted to point that out for you. Alrighty, well, that about wraps it for uh, basic coverage of constructors. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much.